All right, let's get this Knuckles run started. Knuckles and Tails just seems like a very unlikely team combination. I mean, really, it, it seems very unlikely, and I have to wonder how well this is going to work out in practice. So, of course, we're going to try to get all the Chaos Emeralds here at the beginning of the game, because I just like to get them taken care of, and it's just so easy to do in the first zone. I mean, they're practically begging you to do it that way. So... I'm gonna come up here, take a sharp right, grab these rings, and boom! Let's go for it. So again, this is the first one. It's not hard, and I, I feel like I'm on fire. I think this is gonna go well. I bet you I'm not going to fail any of these this run. Well, so far, so good. And we're really picking up those rings. Hey, cool. Well, at least something thinks I'm cool. Even if it is just the game. Pick up some more rings. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, no, this... Obviously is going to be the easiest one out of all of them. Cool! Alright, 140 rings, and we've already got 118 total. This should be easy. Should be very easy. Here we go. Gonna pick up. Alright. Well, we don't need any more, so we're good, but, you know, pick up what I can, and there's our emerald. Heck yeah. One emerald down, six more to go. Time for a drink. Don't get too excited, folks. This is mineral water. We're not getting drunk tonight. Friends don't let friends play Sonic drunk. Unless they do. Hmm. Let's grab that shield. And head to the next stage. Will not get hit by that monkey. And here we go, second emerald. Let's bag this one. Again, this is only the second one. It's pretty easy, but I am missing some rings here. Actually, missing quite a few. I'm kind of embarrassed. Doing. Doing so mediocre. Alright, we're still cool. We only need 30 more rings. Provided Tails doesn't lose any, and I just. I am so missing rings right now. I mean, we'll be fine, don't get me wrong, but. There we go. Stage two complete. Let's get that emerald. And up. Oh, dodge the bomb. Grab these rings. Tails. Man, why are you why are you eating the bombs? Dropping our rings here. Almost uh almost got hit by that one bomb there. Alrighty. Well, looks like we got ourselves a second Chaos Emerald. Good stuff. Alright. So we got one more left in this act that we can get. 
So let's head to that last post. I want to try something here. I want to go up. All right. Come on, Tails. Come on. No, Tails, get down here. Yeah. Oh, God. No. No. Oh. This... Uh, I don't think this is going to work out too well. So, of course, when you make Tails fly, you got to keep, you know, tapping A while hitting up on the D-pad. And if you hit the jump button twice, you glide, which takes you away from Tails. There we go. We got that. We'll kill that little B-bot. We're going to glide. Hopefully grab this. You gotta watch out for that monkey. I don't want him hitting me with his coconuts. Alrighty, let's do this. Third emerald. We're gonna get it. Alright. Oh, I just hit a bomb. At least it was at the beginning. I didn't lose that many rings, but... Man. I hope that's not an omen for how the rest of the night's gonna go. Grab these guys. Avoid the other bombs. Oh! And jump. Cool! All right, 110 rigs. I don't like these, it's kind of sketch because you can't really see, especially at the end there. And that second one. All right, 24 more rings. We'll stay in the middle. Make a jump. Hey, Cool. Alright, let's get this 160 and bag this emerald. Ooh, I barely, barely jumped over those. Tails did not, though. Tails gets hit again. This is why you can't really count on Tails to hold any rings that he keeps, so you want to make sure that you have the number necessary. And fortunately, we do. We were, we just squeaked by here. All right, let's finish this act and get our last four. Of course I hit that stupid monkey. Yeah, let's go back here. Just want to look at something here real quick. Oh, of course. Of course, I, I hit that again. Oh, my. Alright. Act one complete. So, yeah, we're pulling out all the good moves tonight, folks. Alright, Emerald Hill... Zone 2. Let's get these last four emeralds. Oh my gosh. There I go, losing rings. I'm just gonna restart. I'm embarrassed of that one. I am embarrassed. Oh my! Here we go again. Getting hit by these monkeys. I hate those guys. Alrighty. Got some rings. But well, that's not how that was supposed to go, but okay. Let's... We got the speed shoes now. Now watch out not to get hit by this monkey. Yeah, we'll grab that ring box. We've got 50 now. Let's go find ourselves one of those posts. 
So if we bounce up here. Come on. Come on, Tails. Alright, whatever. Oh, oop. Wow. I'm playing real good tonight. Come on, Tails. Come on. Alright. I guess I'll just go back and try it again. Hopefully not suck this time. Yeah, jump. Might as well grab these rings. And boom. Let's get this emerald. Alright. Tails colored. So, we're knocking these out. I think we're gonna get this one perfect with no problems at all. Let's see. And we're cool! Awesome. Time for the second round. <clears throat> yeah, this one's not too terrible, honestly. Just kind of jump back and forth here. Missed a few rings. But we should be fine. We should get enough. Look at that. 157 total. <laughs> we already have enough. Just give me my emerald. I already got enough rings, right? But now they want you to do it again. Or do this part, you know. Because you could always lose your rings, I suppose, from the bombs. But it would definitely be nice if they gave you the emerald if you had enough. But that's fine. That was easy. We got our emerald. The pink emerald. Bagged another one. Now we have four out of three of the emeralds here. All right. Let's drop down here. Grab these rings, get that one up that we don't actually need just to do it, and hit this post. Yes, they're that close to each other. There's a couple of them like that. There's this one at the beginning, and there's two really close to each other at the end. Alright, let's grab these. This one, I usually have a little bit of trouble and miss a bunch of rings, and I'm missing a lot this time around, too. Oh, missed some more. Fortunately, there's more than enough, but that's okay. I think, I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be good and not have to redo it. Oh, oh no, it's one of these. Uh-oh. All right, I did okay there. Did okay there. Got some bombs showing up. Grab that. All right, cool. I love when it says cool. Like I said, at least at least somebody thinks I'm cool, even if it's just the game. Nope, oh, I missed those rings. Let's try to grab those. Alright, now we got the top left, then we got up above. Oh, we got most of those. And, oh man, I am nailing that one. Yes! We just got ourselves another Chaos Emerald. Sweet. Well, we got two more to go here, and we are definitely going to get these before the end of the act. <clears throat> Alright. So let's 
try not to get hit and lose our rings and move on to the next one. We're going to drop down for it, of course. Try to avoid these spikes. Ooh, that was close. That was real close. Tails got sprung up there and shanked by the spikes. So yeah, there's at least five of these posts here. <clears throat> so after this, we have two more we can go to. Easily. Let's grab some of these rings. Yeah, uh, I, I prefer to get the blue spheres, but this isn't too bad of a emerald mini game. All things considered. I like the ones from the Sonic Advance games too, <clears throat> or at least the first one where you're like flying through the air on a like a I don't know a hoverboard or something. Those are pretty fun. If you haven't had a chance to play any of the Sonic Advance games, they were all right. They were all right. I don't think uh, people really talk about them a whole lot, but they had some decent stuff going on in some of them. They had their own gimmicks and such. I miss them. I wish, wish I didn't lose a bunch of my Game Boy games because... <laughs> well, not only was it hundreds of dollars worth of games, but uh, I really like playing those and a lot of my Sonic Advance games were in it. Oh, barely made that. Forgot about those, we jumped through this ring of bombs, another ring of bombs, more bombs, we just get all the bombs, every single one, and Tails just gets hit by them because he sucks. Again, you cannot rely on him to get and keep a hold of your rings, but sometimes he comes through. All right. And it looks like we just bagged the green emerald. So now we have one more chaos emerald to go. And then we can wrap this zone up and head to chemical. And that's good. So try not to get hit by this monkey. I don't want to deal with any monkey business, and he's driving me coconuts. Alright, we got invincibility stars, we're going to hit this spring, go flying, and I kind of messed up there. You know what, we'll, tr we'll try the tails thing again, I think I can make it work. Man, this is not great. Alright, there we go. Alright. Up we go! Let's get this emerald! So last bonus stage. Let's do this and get a perfect run on these. No retries necessary. Alright, so far so good. This one's pretty easy and I like it. You just kind of jump back and forth. But it's kind of a fun one even though it's the last one, so I'm not too worried. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Alright, cool! 190 rings. I miss those. Oh man, I always miss a bunch here. I just Never remember. Alright. And we'll get these. No! Ah! My controller quit working for me and I ran right into those bombs. I'm so glad I had enough rings even with that. I was definitely worried. I guess uh, it's the broken controller challenge or something. I don't know. Oh no! And I got to hit another bomb. Man, I'm just. This is bad. I think we can still do it though. I still think we can do it. We're, we're good right now. I just can't afford to hit any more bombs. 
Yeah, this controller, it'll just kind of randomly disconnect on me sometimes. It's a wireless one, and, uh, yeah. All right, we got our last Chaos Emerald. Let's go! Take that, you messed up controller that tried to screw me out of one of my emeralds. Knuckles can be super knuckles. <laughs> Alright, let's cheese this with super knuckles mode. I mean, we have it, we might as well use it, right? Man, that was so hard. And just like that... We are done. We have finished Emerald Hill Zone. On to Chemical Plant. Alright. We go up here. I want to try doing some stuff here. I don't know if it'll work out or not. Yeah, that didn't really do me any good. I don't know, some of the, like, the bumps you can jump off of and get a bunch of air, and you can skip stuff. So I've been trying to, like, practice it. Z was showing me some tricks, so I'm trying to maybe incorporate some of what I learned. But definitely not going to be the speedrunner that he is, that is for sure. Right. I like these tubes. I think I don't know. I always thought they were kind of cool. And let's transform. Go down here. And we are done with Act One. Alright, so, got all the emeralds, chemical plant zone one is down, let's, uh, let's do this. Guess I didn't really need to do what I did there, just trying to, trying to try something. You know, I wonder... You know what? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do it. I said we were gonna do this the long way. Gosh darn it, that's what we're gonna do, I tell you what. Hey, look at that. I'm glad that the pink chemicals just don't hurt you. Until Robotnik decides to drop them on you, and then they hurt. Oh, oh, come on. That was... That was terrible. We'll take the low road. And of course, Knuckles can kind of glide over all this junk. You know, I, I I am gonna try to do something here, and yes, I just want to see if I can pull it off. Look at that water physics for the win! I want to uh, I want to thank Z for showing me that little trick. That's one of the few that I actually remember and can do. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, we can go Super Knuckles, should we? I don't think so. You know what? Maybe I will. Because I'm kind of... That was close. That was really close. I... Oh my god. I thought I was going to die there. Oh. <sighs> Hmm. <clears throat> 
Let's do it. Oh, I should have left his idle animation. I like that. He's just like... You know, he's like... He's ready to fight. Knuckles the badass. He's ready to fight. So this level, I gotta be a little careful because, hey, look, I can't jump over that. I mean, I could, like, use tails. Can I actually land on top of it? No, it breaks. <laughs> Just if anything touches the top, it breaks. All right, well, that's, that's good to know. I'm not going underwater. I hate water. You put me in water, I am not a happy Sonic player. Ever. Aw, oh, come on, man. Grounder, why are you doing that to me? All right. Come on. I ran out of juice there, apparently. And boom, we are through Act 1. Act 1 is not too bad, you just fly right through it. Or if you're Tails, you literally fly right through it. But uh, yeah, trying to use Tails to fly and this is not going to be too reliable. You know, because... <sighs> how it works. Not that it's impossible or anything. Obviously it works, I've done it, but... Just more of a pain than I want to deal with. Oh, that thing's gonna get in the way. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna do that one. Get some invulnerability stars and get stopped by that. Knuckles really was not... <sighs> yeah, the, the game was not designed for Knuckles, and it... <laughs> It shows many times when you play through this. I mean, like, I don't... Yeah. You gotta be a little careful. There's also a spot... Another reason why I'm taking the high road again, uh, this playthrough. If I went down below, there is a... There is a chance that I could actually get myself uh, stuck and not be able to get out. Actually, that was the place where it could happen. Oh my god, I'm being chased by arrows! I used to be an echidna just like you, and then I took an arrow to the knee. Story of what really happened to Knuckles' tribe. It was kind of cool how Sonic Adventure went a little bit into the story about his tribe and what happened. And then they had like a... I want to say it was a DS game? I don't think it was 3DS, I think it was just a DS game. It's like the, the Shadow Brotherhood or Dark Brotherhood or something like that. There's like these Echidna tribe from another... Dimension or some kind of crazy shit. I can't remember That game was so weird. All you did was beat this shit out of your Your screen because it was like you tapped to do everything Multiple times like you'd have you'd be like trying to do an attack and it's like tap tap slide tap tap slide slide tap tap slide I mean like it was it was nuts and it was like you do all that just to do like Barely any damage anyway. It's very odd. I think that, uh, you know, though they left it so they could make like a second one, I, I highly doubt it did too well. Because I don't remember ever seeing a second one, and I don't know how anyone would really enjoy that. I mean, there were some cool things about the game, but mechanically the combat was just bad but it was cool to see an rpg it was it was a you know it was a turn-based rpg sonic the hedgehog and that was kind of cool to see you know but i think it could have been maybe better executed you know you had quests and 
things that you had to do. Um, it was it was definitely a different kind of experience. Just not sure how many people actually enjoyed it. Oh, I did th I think I just found the glitch right here. We just sit here all day and just milk this for points. I don't want to do that though. All right. We're gonna spring on out of here. And just barely miss getting a hundred rings. Oh well. Look at that time, a minute 59. <laughs> just short of a hundred rings, just short of two minutes. And I know I've said this before, but I really, you know, I love the background. And I, to be fair, too, I also just like the design of the level. I think it's cool. You know, it's nice and flashy and bright. You know, I definitely think Casino when I look at this, you know. It just it looks so awesome. I wish I could go and like see the stuff in the background. You know, probably the, you know, I, I, I think that about a lot of the uh, different zones and, you know, based on the background stuff, but this one especially, it's like, it just looks so cool. If there was a place that looked like that, I would want to see it. Maybe, yeah, you know, like the background, not like the level design here. I mean, I guess I, I'd, I'd take a look at that too, but it'd be a hell of a time getting around right I'm not gonna go in there we're just gonna take the spring and loop-de-loop -loop and pull oh oh get those chili dogs all right we're just are you kidding me You know, those things, you can either get through them very quickly or it takes a ridiculous amount of time because you just run into things that you don't need to be running into. Oh, man. Now, yesterday, I kind of did a, a double playthrough. I played through as both Sonic and Tails and then just Tails by himself. I have to say, I really... Even though Tails does not go super in this game... I don't mind it. I just, you know, Tails is just awesome. He's just awesome. He doesn't need a super form. That's why he doesn't get one. It's because he doesn't need it. He's too good. No, we just let a bunch of flickies and pigs out. It's just, that's such a cool pack. Here we go, hilltop zone. Tails, I appreciate you trying to get me killed, but I'm good enough at doing that on my own. I do not need assistance with that task. Kind of surprised I didn't die yet, but you know, now that I said something, it's probably gonna happen. And it's gonna be some like really stupid way to like I'm gonna get squished or something. You know what I mean? Like that's just that's just how this game goes. You get squished. Alright, this little guy. Alright. Tails trying to like keep up with me. Oh no! Uh, I need to not. Uh, I gotta remember not to fly. Perhaps I should drill that into my head. I mean, you're if you're watching me, it, it's your own fault. You know, you know I make a pun every chance I get. You know I do it. You have no one to blame but yourself at this point. 
If you're new, well, okay, we'll give you a little bit of leeway there. Let me know what you think about my puns, you know? I'll upload this to YouTube, and uh, feel free to roast me for my puns if you think they're terrible and cheesy. Do it. You won't. You won't. Recordings for this week's stuff probably gotta come out next week. So. Because again, I have to take the time to edit these ever so slightly. Okay. Do that. Like I said, I just got my Sonic 3 playthroughs done. But, uh, yeah, Sonic 3 2, that, Sonic 3 Knuckles, that's a long game. I mean, I was clocking in anywhere from two and a half to three hours a, a run through on that. This game, I'm usually around an hour and a half. I was a little bit shorter on Tails because we just kind of flew through things, and that's why I went ahead and played as him. So I was like, well, it'll be a quickie. It'll probably be around three hours. And I was right. I think I clocked in just under three or just over three. I can't remember. You know, once you take out, like, you know, the intro and the five-minute warning and everything, I think it ended up being, like, three hours or, like, with, you know, like, within five minutes of it. Something like that. I think I would also start doing something new. For part of it, I'm gonna go back and... Like, I'm gonna record, but I'm not going to... Um, necessarily keep all of the live audio. So I think what I'll do this time around, just a just just test. Um, I'll go back and I'll record alternate audio you know, comments and things that I'm saying, and put that in the beginning of this video. So a lot of times I, I think of stuff after the fact that I wouldn't mind talking about or mentioning or something, you know. Just like, eh, why not? All right, so we're not gonna go super and cheese this. Kinda, again, wanted to do this more or less legit. Oh God. Alright, so this, he just kind of comes up, he, he shoots fireballs, it's not, it's not really that hard of a boss. I remember when I was a kid, he gave me some trouble, because I was doing stupid stuff, but I mean, kind of like Chemical Plant Zone, you just bounce on his head. I don't know what to tell you, folks. Look at that, Knuckles, he's just like, he's squaring up, he's like, mm, 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 yeah. I freaking love that idol animation for him. All right, Mystic Cave Zone, let's jam out. Love this music. We're in a cave, everyone. That's right, we're in a cave. You know, it's Mystic Cave Zone, so I thought, why not, right? Why not? Oh. i grab this vine. Speaking of vines, you remember when vines were a thing? Everyone was like, yo, did you see that vine? Posting vines, making vines. They just, yo, know, everyone was obsessed with vines, man. For the longest time, I had no idea what they were talking about because I wasn't up on all that stuff. Ooh. But now I think like the YouTube shorts and, and like, was it TikTok or whatever kind of replaced all that. Everybody liked vines.
Ah, oh, the only people that like vines are people that are into weird hentai. I know you're out there, people. I know you are. Oh! Let's go down here. Oh, I don't want to fall down there. That's a bad idea. And just like that, we got through Act 1. Not too bad. I haven't decided if I want to do Hidden Palace Zone or not. I didn't do it on the last two playthroughs, so maybe I will. It's, uh, man, this lighting. I don't understand why that. You know what? I do think I know what's going on. Something happened with my video settings, and it's trying to auto-correct for things. I uh, this will be fixed once I get a, a, like, an actual light, like a proper light. You used to have a ceiling fan, and that would have been perfect for the most part, but yeah, then it kind of quit working. Just haven't felt like paying somebody to come in and fix it. Get an electrician or something. I don't want to do it. Me and electricity, we do not get along at all, and I mean that 100%. If it can shock me, it will shock me, like, super bad. You know, uh, I, like, I'm afraid to do anything on my computer, because I always, like, I'm afraid I'm gonna fry the motherboard or something by shocking the dump. And it's funny because, you know, a lot of what I do involves computers. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely rolling the dice, but now, like, At work, I just, I get electrocuted by everything. I touch a doorknob, it's like, it, it, it shocks me. And I don't mean like it's just a little tiny, I mean like, there's, there's like, there's a spark. There is a nice visible spark and a nice loud snap when I touch that doorknob. And then if I, you know, walk away from my computer and I go to get back on it, I touch the keyboard, it's like zap. Just absolutely messes me up. Absolutely messes me up. It is so bad. I do not like it. I don't think that's the one I need. I think it's later on. But, nah, it's... Yeah, being electricity. Electricity likes me a lot. I don't like it too much. Um... Oh, I can't actually... Alright, let's drop down. Okay. I guess I missed it. Well, shoot, I was actually going to try to go there, but I guess not. Oh my god. I don't care if I lose my ring, let's just die for a moment. Yeah! Can't get away from Nox. Dude, I liked rapping Knuckles, you know, like his theme from DX and well, Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure Battle 2. It's pretty cool. Alright. Can we not? So again, here we are at Oil Ocean. Not really my favorite zone, but it is what it is. The uh, this is the part of the the game where it definitely feels like it drags for me, just because I'm not particularly interested in these zones. 
And then, you know, for as uninterested as I am in this one, well, I've got Metropolis Zone, all three acts, to look forward to. But we'll get through it. We will get through it for sure. I also have to keep in mind, this is like the tenth time I've played through this game by this point. Like, I have played through this a lot in the last couple weeks. Because I was playing this even off stream. Because I was enjoying it so much. I just had to go through and do all the 100% for all the characters. Like I said, if you look at my save thing, like, I am definitely being a completionist on it. Come on. Let's get these invulnerability stars. Did hear uh, actually a uh, really nice bit of news. So apparently Legend of Dragoon, if you've not heard about the game and you have a PlayStation, I would highly suggest looking into it if you like RPGs. It is apparently on... Ooh, I just missed that ball thingy it shot at me. Apparently got released on the PlayStation Plus thingy. So yeah, pretty awesome. Like I said, I think it was a really good RPG. I wouldn't mind playing through it at some point. I don't, wait, what the, what is going, that, ah, what is that? What was that? What was going on with that thing? That lid was just losing its mind. Like, I was not going to make it through that alive. I think Tails broke it. Damn it, Tails. Instead of Bobby, it's Tails. Oop, oop, eep, er. I tell you what. No, let's not squish me. I think that would be... Yeah, I... I don't know. I know that stuff with this game got kind of messed up. Again, my, my understanding from what I read, assuming that what I read is correct. The face is revealed, dude. Hey, what's up, Itachi? Surprised to see you pop in today. Dude, I'll tell you what, I'm actually really looking forward to multiplayer for Last Epoch dropping here March 9th because I wanna I wanna play Last Epoch again. I really do. It's not gonna let me get that. There we go. I gotta make myself another necromancer, you know? Gotta do it. Oh, the camera's out. Yeah. Yeah, I've been, uh, I got the camera and stuff all kind of situated. And for the most part, it's, uh, it's been working all right. I wouldn't mind getting a better camera. And, uh, even more so, I wouldn't mind getting, like, a, like, a good light to use. But, I don't know. I mean, it's a work in progress. I'm not going to dump a fortune into this. Uh, or anything not uh, wouldn't make sense for all the bigger I am here, but Maybe slowly over time. It'll, it'll get a little bit better, but I definitely know I've done a lot uh, to increase the Quality of my streams and you know my my videos so. Anyway, I appreciate you stopping by Itachi. I really do enjoy Hogwarts Academy. A lot of people really liking that game. And I know to some this is this is probably going to sound like heresy. I was never a Harry Potter fan. I, I never was. I, I could not get into it. Oh, 
But I know people that absolutely love it. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, uh, it, just, it just wasn't for me. Just wasn't for me. You know, the closest thing to Harry Potter I like is like the old... The old animations for like the Lord of the Rings. Now those are good. Those are definitely worth watching. You know stuff gets real when the dragon has headlights for eyes. And uh, everybody looks like an old, a wrinkly old man. Like you know something serious is going down here. Alright, so you can kind of cheese this by sitting down here and just keep jumping. That laser will go up there and it'll shoot different places. Sometimes it'll hit like right... You know, I'll just show you. It's not like it can hurt me. See, it'll shoot down here and you have to jump. So you want to be a little careful. You did it to me twice, that little jerk. You went to see that fa that movie. You're talking about Harry Potter, right? Not the Lord of the Ring, not the Lord of the Rings animation. I hope. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I remember I had. Uh, <clears throat> I don't quite recall which grade. I think it was like grade three or four. We had a teacher that read us like the first or first two Harry Potter books you know, gradually over time in class. I guess, like, she came from a family that they were very restrictive. They didn't... They didn't like anything with, like, magic and wizards and stuff for some reason. They didn't want her exposed to it. So, like, you know, she never got to watch anything or, you know, play any games or whatever that involved that, right? I mean, a lot of people were kind of... You know, I don't know. People were worried that, like, all these kids into this stuff, they were gonna, like, I don't know, practice necromancy or, like, start sacrificing people's pets to Satan or something. I, I, oh, I almost killed myself there. Yeah, I don't know, right? But either way, her parents didn't want her looking at that kind of stuff. So, like, that was her, like, first, like, fantasy type of, you know, thing with magic and stuff she ever got to read, I guess. And so she read it to us, which, you know, I mean, that's kind of cool. But I, I just, I couldn't, I could not really get into it. I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't, it just didn't do it for me. I mean, it's not to say that, you know, the story's not, you know, good or anything, you know, whatever. What it, it's just, it just doesn't do it for me, right? Either, it either clicks with you or it doesn't. And that one did not. Well, like I said, I know a lot of people who really love it. They had all the books, they read them, you know, and that's the other thing, right? You know, like, first it was the books, and I, I'm, I don't like to read. I don't, you know, I don't like to read for my enjoyment. I'll put it that way, right? Like, I generally, if I'm reading something, it's to learn something, you know, or it's work-related. I don't read for amusement. You know, it just, like... Reading for fun, it does not register with my brain. You know, probably because, you know, anytime I had to read something, it was like homework or, or something, right? But, yeah. I mean, have I read some things for fun? Yeah, sure. It's just not very often. Not very often. I know, like, recently ish. I started reading the book series that was written uh, for, like, the Escape from Tarkov universe. And I thought those were alright. I mean, is it gonna win, like, a bunch of, you know, awards or anything? Are people going to sit there and talk about how much of a literary masterpiece it is? No! But, you know, the idea of it is pretty cool. I liked it and I played the game for it, which is, you know, why it was kind of relevant. Because I guess that's one thing. You know, I'll read a bunch of stuff related to lore in video games and stuff. I guess that's kind of the thing. I don't like movies and, and books and stuff because I want something I interact with. But if you give me a game with rich lore, you know, that I can, you know, play, 
Well, suddenly that stuff kind of matters more to me because now it's it's something tangible. I can touch it. You know, I can I can do something with it. And then like I'll sit there and read like stuff that people have come up with about things and different pieces of lore, weapon description, stuff like that, right? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are probably gonna sit there and be like, damn, you crazy. But, you know, I mean, that's... <laughs> you know, if it's based on something that I like playing or, you know, something like that, right? Like, yeah, that's that's one way for me to get by and to actually read it. Otherwise, it's probably not going to. Like... And a lot of times, too, that stuff's in video format anyway. And then, like, I'll watch it while doing something else. I did find pretty funny... The Trade Manifesto. Is this about the bazaar? Did somebody type that they, they're gonna get their rug, and, uh, you know, when their friends come to town, they're going to say, What would you like to purchase, Traveler? All right, I will read that Itachi. Let me get through this zone first. But I will read that. I'm sure there's a lot of funny reactions uh, based around that. I'm surprised that they're gonna allow trade at all in Last Epoch. I really am. All right, glad to see that the backlash seems to have woken 11th hour games up from their early access slumber, forcing them to solve a years long problem in a month. It's like 11th hour games is a contestant on Hell's Kitchen and they were just berated by Chef Ramsay for burning the risotto and it woke them up as they replied, yes, chef. Oh my God. Then they proceed to cook up the best risotto that Chef has ever tasted, and he compliments them and gives them a hug and encourages them to keep doing great. I have no idea how this. Um, Brad is it's intriguing nonetheless. What the? <laughs> yeah, I, I was really surprised. I mean, I've even said my videos that I made in regard to trade. I'm like, I, I just, I don't think there's gonna be trade. I, it's just, it's not gonna be a thing. I is. I was convinced it wasn't going to happen because of how hardline they were about it. And yeah, I mean, you know, they did say that it would be a discussion, it's not over, but they seemed, I, I don't know why they felt like they took such a hardline stance. What, like they did, you know what I mean? And they ticked off a lot of people and, you know, maybe some of those people will come back now with this news. But, you know, it begs the question, too, right? Like, how badly did they tick off their player base? How many people said, screw this game, I'm out, over the trade thing? For them to go and do a, a, you know, an actual 180, right? That's just amazing to me. That is amazing to me. But yeah, I definitely want to do a last Epoch news video thing, but it's probably not going to get done till like, gosh darn it, really? Till like Friday at earliest, probably. I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to stream this week. If I'm going to do Monday through Wednesday or Monday through Thursday, I probably should just do three days. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. So maybe Thursday I'll I'll have a chance. But yeah, I don't know. I still think it was kind of you know funny. Uh, a certain a certain uh, individual that was all like yeah no trade and now it's like well yeah we got trade that cracks me up honestly
but I think that kind of... I don't know. I don't know. I'd be a little guarded in what I say there. I don't want to... I want to come off as dragging somebody down. So I don't, but... <clears throat> it is funny. It is funny. But... Yeah, March 9th, last Epoch. I am really looking forward to it again. I know Ocean's looking forward to it, and I got a couple other people I think they're going to start playing it too once the uh, multiplayer's out. So, I know a lot of people that are just waiting. And heck, when I was streaming the game, I had people stop by all the time. Hey, when's multiplayer coming out? All right, I'll wait till that, you know, till then to do whatever. Give it a shot. What? Oh, come on. Don't kill me, bro. Oh, my gosh. This is one of those times where I wish I could just get control of Tails and then... Well, I mean, I can kind of, but like have a separate controller, just sit in a corner, let Tails beat up the boss since he can't die. Boom. There we go. Get him to ah, Tails. Come on, bud. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously, though, like EHG, they got a lot of. Negative comments and stuff. You know, really, I think... <sighs> I think if, if EHG didn't talk about having to mess around with drop rates, they could have... <sighs> More people probably would have been on board with having, you know, just trade in the game anyway. You know what I mean? I guess it's just, it seems so weird to me they had such a hardline stance. Because I, mean, I, I don't know how you have a game like that, you know, and I get it like some people are like we have Warframe, but Warframe is a very different kind of game and a lot of people didn't like that there was no trade in that game. That was a complaint I heard a lot from new people. I mean, heck, people who had been playing the game for a while and just wanted to help out a friend because they had a bunch of extra gear and couldn't do it. They're like, well, hey. Can't do this. But either way, Itachi, yeah, thanks for, for dropping that news my way. Yeah, you can die in this game. I'm just trying not to die. So as long as you have one ring, uh, you, you won't normally die, but you can still drown, you can still fall to your death, you can get squished by things, which actually tends to happen quite a bit. But you also gotta keep in mind, Itachi, like, <clears throat> you know, I played this game when I was a kid. I mean, Mario, you had your mushrooms and stuff, but the bosses and everything were a little different too. Now, admittedly, the last boss I fought there, yeah, I, I definitely kind of cheesed him. But there's ways to fight him that you don't get hit like that. I'm just trying to kind of, I guess, rush it. Because I'm actually toward the end of the game. After this little two-minute... Well, I don't know, it's a little more than two. It's like four or five minutes, I think. No, actually, this is it. It's two minutes. All right. I have this little two-minute segment here. We got a wing fortress, and then after this, I fight the last boss. So this is the actual end of the game, and I'm just trying to get through it. I'm probably going to do some more stuff to kind of cheese a little bit. Oh no! Don't do that to me. See, like I could have, I could have died there if I wasn't careful. Oh no! He took my rings. But I'm trying to do no deaths. You know, I messed that up. I'm going to restart because I need I need my rings. Tails is going to get shot down. Goodbye, Tails.
Poor guy. Oh, man. And what's kind of messed up about the last level that I played... So, the, the premise of this game, or at least one of the things, right? You've got Dr. Robotnik, who is capturing animals, many of which are probably Sonic and Tails' as friends. And he is... Oh, a skunk just sprayed outside. Ah, oh, you dirty son of a gun. <sighs> and, you know, he uses the animals he captures to... You know, he uses their life energy, rather, to power his robots that he uses to, like, try to kill Sonic and take over the planet, blah, 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 right? Well, so in Sky Chase Zone, you know... You kill an enemy or whatever, you, def you break the, the robot, the animal escapes from it. Alright, and that's fine and, and cool and all. But most of the animals can't, uh... They can't actually fly. So you're just killing them. They're gonna land on the ground somewhere down below and just be dead. Like, somebody down there is watching these animals rain from the sky and turn into blood bags. Pretty, pretty messed up if you think about it. Oh my god. Knuckles, why you no jump? And now I'm in super form here because I collected all the Chaos Emeralds, so... Stuff's not going to hurt me for the next 12 seconds, which is all I need. S yes, it was scared of Knuckles. Who wouldn't be scared of Knuckles? He just looks intimidating, doesn't he? He just looks like he means business. Now we're gonna ride a plane, and uh, this plane is somehow going to take off into the, you know, the upper part of the atmosphere. And he's just gonna be fine standing right on the wing there, not not caring at all. Knuckles is gonna grab onto the rocket. Oh yeah, Knuckles. Knuckles' gliding comes in clutch. And now he's holding onto a rocket ship going into space somehow without being torn apart, burned up. And uh, apparently he can breathe in space too because, you know, he's not dying. All right, last two bosses and I get no ring. So yes, I cannot, uh, I can't do what I did before. I get all my cheese in while I can. Oh my god, no, I bounced off too far. There, There's my death, Itachi. See, you can in fact die in this game. Trying to speed up this battle, I made it longer by dying. Come at me, Metal Sonic. And here is the fat guy that uh, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles cannot seem to capture because somehow he outruns them? But that's okay because we have the Egg Gundam. Oh boy, ads. So when he lands, he kind of bends over. You can hit him once. You run as far away as you can. He flies back up, and then you do this again. Look at that. It's perfect. All right, Robotnik. Up he goes. You gotta do this, I think, like ten times. See, the arms don't touch you. As long as it doesn't get too close. Now, you can't hit him from behind, at least with some of the other characters, but Knuckles doesn't jump as high. Hogwarts, see? They, they know what you like, Itachi. They know, they know who they're advertising to. They've been pushing that game hard. There's like a mobile version of it too, I think. Cause like, 
I play, was it Super Monster League? Or Monster Super League, I forget how it, which way it goes. But anyway, they, uh, I get those Hogwarts ads all the time for some mobile version of the game. Here we go. Demo Arigato, Mr. Robotnik. I like Knuckles' idle animation. He's just like, he's just sitting there punching, shadow boxing, whatever. Oh, I just, no, I didn't want to glide. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I have failed. I am a failure. He's actually a really easy boss, and there's really no reason to die to him. But I, I, I promise I tried to roll there. Okay, now I'm just going to suck, apparently. It's all because of Hogwarts Legacy. That's I'm going to blame that for my failure here. Not, not me sucking. It definitely is not me that. Not me that. Not me doing that. Diamond of Sonic. I was actually watching a guy who was playing this, and he got here, and he's like, what, there's no rings? So immediately he, like, quit, and then he went into a cheat menu and started dropping rings, so he had them. And I'm like, dude, really? Like, really? <laughs> That's what you're gonna do, okay? Not really what I'd want to do on a stream. Or just in general, but you know, is what it is. I was like, there's a trick. You don't, you don't have to do that, bud. And he's like, nah, I got this. Let's open up the cheat menu. I'll go into debug mode and drop like 200 rings. The best part is he still died. Amateurs these days. It says the the amateur streamer, right? All right, come on, Mr. Robotnik. Up, up, up. Yeah, that's right. You better, you better step back. See, he's afraid of Knuckles. Knuckles looks like he wants to beat him up. I yes, yeah. All he had to do is watch me beat Robotnik. He would have, he would have been able to beat the game a hundred percent. Had all of his emeralds in the first zone and everything. He would have looked like a Chad. But he didn't. Some people do actually want and uh, take my advice, though. And I get it. Like, some people, they don't they don't want told what to do. They want to figure it out. There's, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I only have a problem when your, your, uh, your solution is to just, oh, I'm just going to cheat. You know? <laughs> like, I could see doing that for fun or something offline, but. I mean, if I was flying around in debug mode doing stupid crap like that, I don't know who would want to watch me. Maybe I'd be surprised. Maybe I'd be surprised. Just like, uh, sometimes the people that cheat in some of those competitive shooters, like, they'll stream and they'll make videos and they'll have, like, a crap load of people watching them more than I'll ever have watch me. Um, and yeah. It's <laughs> just how it is. Ooh, I almost didn't make that jump. But nah, I wouldn't do that. Especially in a competitive setting. That's kind of ridiculous. Not good, man. Not good. Alright, Robotnik. Come on, you're a final boss, and you're a very pitiful final boss. The Egg Gundam... I'm gonna give him some shining finger here. Look at that! Shining finger! 
For those of you who watched that uh, unfortunate uh, Gundam anime, I know I did when I was a kid. <laughs> That was his special move. That was his special move. He would just get into the fight and he'd be getting ready to finish off the guy and he'd just go Shining Finger! And it wasn't like a finger, it was just like all of his fingers too. So it made even less sense. I... I I was never really into mechs either. I watched that because it was on and it was goofy enough. I did like Zoids. I will admit I liked Zoids. The Zoids cartoon was pretty cool. But, uh... But other than that, I mean, yeah, I've not been too big. Full Metal Panic, I guess. Did that have... No. Well, I guess it did have some mech stuff in that that newer season, which kind of sucked. And I think they just kind of dropped it. Um, Code Geass, I like that had some mech stuff. It wasn't necessarily a mech anime per se, but it did have mechs in it. I like the original Code Geass, all the side stuff that came out afterward. I just could not get into. And then, like, it be it was one of those things where, you know, not to sound like an anime hipster, right? But, like, you know, it became cool, and then everyone liked it, and then they started doing, like, a bunch of extra garbage with it that I didn't like, and just, I don't know. If you want more, it's got to get popular, you know, um... And uh, if it doesn't get popular, it might be really good, but nobody knows about it. And you, yeah, just, I don't know. It, it's weird. It's weird how things work with anime. Very odd. But anyway, yeah, that's the. Yeah, yeah, you Hakusho. I still need to go back and, and rewatch that. I, I was watching the man. What is with this? Like the light? I don't. This is so. T this is like the worst. Like my camera has been like, ever. So, so embarrassed by the quality. I mean, it makes me look, I guess, shadier, which is isn't terrible, but. But yeah, no, I, yeah, you know, show is good. I've been watching the the science adventure series, which is like uh, Steins Gate, Robotic Notes, Occult Nine, Chaos Head, Chaos Child, and I think there's some other stuff. But I still need to finish Robotic Notes, and I don't even remember where I was in it. The website I was watching it on, like, it decided to go nuts, and then, like, I never finished the anime. <laughs> so I need to definitely do something about that. But... but yeah, I think I do vaguely remember there being a Yu Yo Yu Yo Hakusho uh, movie. I didn't see it, but I do remember it. And I remember, too, like, they kind of had two versions of uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Because there was the one when they originally were showing it on Adult Swim. Because that's where I first saw it, Adult Swim. And then, like, they moved it to the normal Cartoon Network. And, like, they didn't swear in it anymore or anything. And it just... I didn't like that too much, you know? But... It is what it is. Oh, there's the death egg. It's crashing into Angel Island. That's the precursor to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Boom. Look at that. So we got through a whole game, uh, whole playthrough here. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything for Sonic 1 tomorrow or not. We'll see kind of how things are going. We might just changed to a different Sonic game. At some point, I do want to play Sonic Adventure 2. I don't know if I'll do Sonic Adventure, but I'll definitely do Sonic Adventure 2. Um, uh, we'll see. We'll see. But any, either way, 
Hey, thank you, anybody who stopped by to take a look. And I want to thank all of you who are going to watch this on YouTube later, because I know that's where most of you are going to see this. Um, yeah, let me know down below. What's your favorite character in this game? You know, which which of the three Sonic games do you like? Well, actually, the, the four, I guess, in this do you like more? Do you like Sonic, the, the first Sonic the Hedgehog? Maybe you're a Sonic CD kind of person. Maybe Sonic 2 is your favorite, or you're like me, and you think Sonic 3 and Knuckles was the best Sonic game on this. Let me know down below in the comment section. And until next time, everyone, take care. Have a great day. But for now, this is Agent Ice, signing off.